On that same day, June 12, 1944, the first flying bomb known as V-1 reached London. The V-1 was a small pilotless airplane which flew at high speed on a predetermined course and terminated its flight by means of settings in its mechanism. It contained a large amount of explosive which detonated upon contact and the blast effect was terrific. The depressing effect of the bombs was not confined to the civilian population. Soldiers at the front began again to worry about friends and loved ones at home. And many American soldiers asked me whether I could give them any news about particular towns in southern England. The effect of the new weapons was very noticeable upon morale. All anti-aircraft crews in the area tried to hit them in flight with some success. at hand was used to try to explode them before they landed. In Germany, construction was being rushed on newer, more devastating weapons. In the final stages of its experimental phase, the V-2 rocket bomb was being readied for use against England. In early tests, many V-2s turned out to be failures. But after two years of experimentation, the rockets were performing well enough for leading German engineers to persuade Hitler that their use in large numbers against England would achieve wholesale destruction. The first non-experimental launching was set for late summer, 